Welcome to Murray Mysteries. ago and I've been going on walks every day to see the sights. This place is like quaint bingo. There's old stone buildings, a harbour with little fishing boats, some cliffs with the sea on one side and beautiful green valley on the other. I can't decide if I should go staring longingly into the waves like a gothic heroine or trailing through the fields like Maria and the sound of music. Actually, if uh, people could leave some suggestions on really cliche things to do around here, I'll try them all and report on their real life viability. We'll rate them on a scale from impossible to felt like an actual character and will do it every day for the rest of my super nerdy life. So far, I've mostly been sitting outside with a book and chatting with the locals. They have a lot to tell about the history of the place and local legends. But I promised you more interesting tales than that of my tourist adventures. In fact, there is a pretty juicy reason why I've been out on my own so much. Lucy! Uh, yes, dear? Uh, tell the viewers why you've been cruelly abandoning me lately. Are you really going to publicly shame me because I don't feel like going on one of your creepy church tours? That's not what I'm talking about, and you know it. Fine. I've been... busy. And might I ask what, or rather, who is keeping you so busy? I, I think it's whom in this context <laughs> Lucy. there's been a few people so the bachelorette here has been keeping three suitors on the back burner while she was away who of course all know each other otherwise it's no fun how do you even find that many people to date i don't know it's a small town it just happens they were all great and i thought some of them would just kind of fizzle out and i wouldn't have to deal with it mm-hmm. and what happened instead Oh, I'm too sure about that. Louder, please, for everyone in the back. <laughs> they all waited until I got back to have the talk. <laughs> yeah. And so, what does one do when three different people ask them to go steady? I'm pretty sure no one has said the words go steady oh. since the 50s. Don't try to distract me. I am immune to distraction. Uh-huh. All right. I handled it like an adult. And how is that exactly... Well, Jane Seward was the first to ask. Hold on, huh? You've got to picture the scene. Yeah. Right. Picture this. Bachelorette Lucy stands outside the mansion in a glamorous ball gown. <laughs> the ground is covered in candles and flower petals. In her hand, a single rose. We were in a Starbucks. But I appreciate the dramatisation. Mm-hmm. It's very me. Well, thank you. <laughs> now, getting character. Oh. Enter Dr. Jane Seward, clinical psychiatrist, first and youngest female director of the local mental health institution. Smart, well-off, very good forehead, (laughs) great candidate. A little awkward, but in the charming way only truly intelligent people can pull off. She and Lucy met at a posh town function her mum was organising. They spent the whole time having an extremely stimulating conversation. Lucy refuses to give me details of, (laughs) and have been in contact ever since. Dr. Seward advances with a brain full of smart stuff and a heart full of hope. Off to you, Bachelorette. (laughs) Jane was so sweet. She said I was good for her, that I made her a better, more balanced person. She really cared about me, and damn it, I almost said yes. I mean, gave her the rose. But you didn't. To be completely honest, I already knew who I wanted to be with. So I told her that, and she said she hoped I would be happy, which is freaking unfair, because I'm clearly the dick in this scenario. What a woman. At that point, I thought, okay wasn't great but at least i know what i want and i can go and get it but that's when quincy showed up quincy morris enters the shot young hot adventurous charming american you could fold laundry on those abs and that accent oh quincy is on a gap year traveling the world with nothing but a backpack and a six-pack and happened to stumble upon lucy's hometown and her tinder profile understandably she couldn't resist 
They went on a few dates last time she was in town and have, of course, kept in touch through mostly half-naked pictures. I'm gonna miss those abs. Poor hot Quincy. Don't make it worse, I already feel horrible! came to me saying that he knew he wasn't wait 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 no no no. you have to do the voice i'm not doing the voice fine i'll do it lucy my dear (laughs) i know i ain't good enough to shine your shoes but then again no one is why'd you say we go on the road and don't turn back from nothing (laughs) that is terrible that's not how he talks at all do the voice so i had to improvise so after he asked me like a normal person I told him it sounded wonderful, but I couldn't just leave my whole life behind to travel the world. And then he said, we didn't have to travel the world. And we just settled down if it meant he got to be with me. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of intense. And kind of lovely. Oh, I wish I could just keep dating them all. Stupid monogamous tendencies. I told him the truth in the end. He looks so sad. But he said I shouldn't worry about him and you'll be fine. And he was glad he met me anyway. Seriously, where do you find these people? Yeah, I lucked out. So, are you going to tell our eager listeners about Suta number three? (laughs) They have a name, you know. (laughs) Art Homewood, one of the sweetest, kindest, most loyal people on the planet. Art and Lucy met when they were ten. Mm -hmm. Ten? Mm. Art was the new kid in town, just in from the US, and Lucy snapped them up on their first day of school before anyone else could claim them. They were really good friends throughout their childhood and teenage years, and of course Arthur was pining for her the entire time. After they both went their separate ways for a university, Lucy realised she had feelings for them of the more than friends variety. (laughs) And I was planning on telling them when they both went home for the holiday, but they brought back their new girlfriend. And thus left Lucy with nothing but regrets and a broken heart she tried to mend by dating other people. Until Art broke up with their girlfriend, and the two of them finally reconnected. (laughs) Now Bachelorette Lucy can finally be with the love of her life. And I'm supposed to be the drama queen. Oh, come on. Your life is like a rom-com. Dating all these amazing people only to end up with the one who's been in front of your eyes all along. I guess it's kind of romantic. So there you go. After all this time, Art got the rose and the two of them blissfully rode into the sunset. Pretty (laughs) models in the stock picture. The end. And that, listeners, is why my friends are more interesting than me. (laughs) See you next time with something a little different. Mysterious, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mysterious. Yeah, Yeah. it was mysterious. Sure. (laughs) Murray Mysteries is a Nove storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudick and featured Drew Victory as Mina Murray and Megan John as Lucy Westerner. Original music by Sophie Kay. Thank you for listening. <laughs>